there's been no shortage of statements. There's been a lot of companies that have come out and have condemned the actions and the um, injustice as they should have. Um, and in case you were wondering, I too have been very affected by this as a person who is also a black man. And um, I can just tell you right now that there are a number of uh, responses that are legitimate, I think. First of all, um, sometimes we fall into a trap of thinking that everyone has to respond the same way and that resistance has to look the same. All protests have to look the same. And so I've just begun to think about various ways that I and STEM media even plays a role in um, just addressing and responding to these issues. One thing that's for sure, um, everyone knows that this wasn't right. Everyone knows that this was horrific. Everyone knows that this is the symptom of a long line of injustice that has happened for centuries here in this country. And while no specific thing is going to solve the problem, I A, believe that the problem can be solved. Um, yes, it is, it is indeed deeply rooted, but um, I also think that we are all called to, in some way, be a part of the solution, be a part of the, the, the future we fight for, not become someone who only lives for the conflict, but someone who lives for uh, the overcoming, the winning, the victory over the conflict. And I know you all are like that, as, as I am. And so one of the things that came to mind is, uh, in addition to the protesting, which uh, I have personally supported. In addition to the donations that me and my family have made to protesters in Minneapolis, um, the calls that we've made to some of the local law enforcement, the, the emails, not saying that in any type of self-congratulatory manner, but um, when it comes to this platform, STEM Media, um, just wanted to think about how the purpose of STEM Media receives greater strength in light of all this. And so one of the things I thought about is that just recently, right, Friday, I want to say Friday, my wife had a really, really bad toothache. And she was saying how she needed to go to the dentist and get a look at. This was a toothache that had come various times in the past and it came back again um, and just with a lot of fury. And she's like, man, I got to set an appointment. And sure enough, I encouraged her, go ahead and set an appointment. And without going into any of the details or the specifics of, of the pain, she found herself sitting in a chair of a dentist's office that she had never been to before. Um, she told me prior to going in, you know, I really want to go to, you know, black owned dentist, uh, dentistry. I really want to go to, um, you know, some of our people and support black owned businesses. Not only that, but just for me. And so she ended up going to this place that was recommended by a friend and in walks in as she's sitting in the chair waiting on the dentist, uh, a black woman dentist that we had forgotten we knew um, that was a dentist. She walked in. And my wife tells me that suddenly everything just felt better. Um, she hadn't looked at her tooth yet. She hadn't pulled or extracted anything yet. But just the simple presence of her walking into the room gave her a sense of peace. And so as she sat there and got her mouth operated on, she told me how this woman, black woman, Dennis, was talking to her sister, who was also a black woman. And she's sitting there and they're just really talking about, obviously, the protests and George Floyd. And they're doing something that is a profound skill in intelligence. And she talked about how just amazing it was just to see that. Just to be in the midst of people of color doing highly technical work in a way that is of excellence, but yet very relatable to who she was as a person. And when she said this with me, that's when I realized, man, I got it. That's what STEM media is doing. Because let's face it, the images that have been broadcasted on TV have been horrific. They have been images that bear on our psyche, images that are not positive. And while I do believe that it is important that we don't hide the reality of what's going on in this country, that we don't try to ever let the fact that um, people have been brutally murdered in the street um, be something that's swept under the rug, I also believe that there is a place and a purpose for the images of people who look like you and look like me to be seen doing what we are called to do. And what I mean by that is we're not the animals that often seem to be what we're portrayed as. We are not the thugs that even some so-called leaders seem to call us. We are doctors. We are engineers. We are scientists. We are researchers. We are mathematicians. We are people who have a lot of brilliance and value to offer into the world. And if we're not careful, 
There are some people who are young who's looking at this situation who need to be informed of what's going on, but sometimes could also find themselves in the duality of having to picture something that is different than what's on the TV screen. That's the purpose of STEM media, to show that there is a difference, to show that no, we are not the person that's under someone's foot. No, we do not belong under someone's knee even. We belong shining in the laboratory. We belong shining in, in, in the political houses. We belong shining uh, in the offices of our STEM duties. We belong working on my wife's teeth, relating to her as a person of color, letting her know that she's heard and she's felt while we do something that's highly technical and brilliant. And so when it comes to STEM media, I believe that we're gonna continue and we will continue to show these images because we do not want the negative images to solely be logged into the minds of our people. We want the brilliant ones to be there. We want the ones that show us in our rightful place. So that's one of the things that has uh, been a conclusion of mine as it relates to STEM media's role in all of this. That's one of the things that has become um, a renewed sense of purpose for this platform in particular, to show who we really are, not who they want us to think us think that we are, not who they want us to think that we are. You know, I, I think there was a reason why uh, lynches were advertised. There is a reason why um, a lot of the images, uh, the sensational, the writing is what is selected to go on the news. There's a reason. And I'm not trying to get all conspiracy theorists or anything like that, but the truth of the matter is, is that we have to show and make a conscious effort that we continue to make visible the images of who we really are. And that's what STEM media is going to continue to do. And that's what I hope you continue to do as we process in our various ways, as we protest in our various ways. Let's continue to make sure that our existence is the resistance that we continue to have.